So before we make our trap, we're going to talk about different kinds of bait we can make. So think about um, what are some things that we could put right by our trap to attract our leprechaun. Maybe we make a four-leaf clover, maybe you could draw some um, shiny gold coins, maybe a certain kind of food. Um, we're going to show you how to make something else, but think about what you can make to add to your trap. What we're going to do now is create leprechaun bait. So how do you think we could attract these leprechauns? Do you think we could attract them using pot of pennies? Probably not. But what if we could turn these pot of pennies into pot of silver pennies? So we turn these ordinary pennies into silver pennies, which unfortunately you won't be able to do at home. We use chemical plating and we plated this with zinc and we put these in a strong base solution. So we used a sodium hydroxide solution to coat just ordinary pennies to look like they're silver and to be silver pennies. But do you think the silver penny is going to attract the leprechauns? Most likely not. So what if we could turn these into gold pennies? Don't try this at home, but the way we're going to turn these into gold pennies is we're going to use a flame. Have our penny here. And we're going to turn these gold. Unfortunately, it's not real gold. This is known as leprechaun's gold or fool's gold. It's actually brass, which is an alloy of the copper that's on the penny and the zinc that we use to coat the penny. 